And I assume he's going to come out with how this next batch of people got overlooked. But again, all of these people have been living in the state since before 1996. All of them have attested that they are United States citizens under penalty of law. And as it happens, not that this factors into the legal conversation, I think a plurality of these registered voters were in fact registered Republican. Arizona Republican Party Chair Gina Swoboda not satisfied with the answer she get, she's getting. She provided this statement, quote, they continue to move goalposts and crush consumer voter confidence. It is unacceptable. Now, according to Fontes, here's the bottom line for all affected voters. The Supreme Court ruling covers them. They will get a full ballot to vote, and this coding mess will get cleaned up after the election. But Republicans still want to vet the rolls to see if any of those voters are non-citizens. Mark Karibe? This The timing, Bram, could not be worse yeah. with the election coming up. So, look, that, that's a big number now. I mean, we're talking about a big, big number. And 98,000, maybe you could understand that, but now close to 200,000. That is 5% of all registered voters, a significant number. And Stephen Richard was correct in saying the plurality are still, most of them are Republican voters. But it becomes a voter confidence issue. And we know on one side, at least, and many others, concerned about whether our elections are being well run. This raises that question once again, with nine days to go before we all get our early ballots. Wow. All right. Stay tuned. Bram, thanks.